Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your lovely hoster. Once again, it is Team Right Right Have You. Got the opportunity to watch the very first video of the day. If not, go check it out. What are you waiting for Christmas? I'm just kidding. So follow me on Instagram, follow me on um, TikTok, uh, Twitter, um, my own Facebook page, even Instagram. You know, I hope like all the information will be down below. The article will be down below. Although the link will be down below. Now it's time once again to discuss wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of awesome information to discuss for you. Now, if you like, sit back, relax, feel free to grab some meat, grab some drink. Now, if you don't like that, maybe you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions, and the subject. And, of course, the article will be down below. Let's roll this. Now, do you guys like the show, the Dory Backstage was on Fox. Recently, they canceled it. So, I guess because due to low ratings. Probably they're upset because Punk was not there every single Tuesday night. Okay? That was a letdown. He should have been there every single week. But, I guess he that was not part of his contract. That was so stupid of Fox. Very dumb, okay? Former WWE superstar Christian um, appeared on Busted Open Radio received the former ECW champion discuss the WWE backstage on Fox that was debuting this year but was canceled shortly after the pandemic. So, what's your thoughts on it? Are you kind of bummed out they had to cancel it because of the pandemic? Or not, are you happy? I mean, I watch it once in a while, but some things, it got really stupid. You know, when they're not showing them on, on the studio, they show highlights. Like from, like, Royal Rumble, WrestleMania, all that stuff you get on the W Network. So it's, like, kind of stupid they did it, you know? And then they finally, they finally pull a plug on that. I don't know if they ever bring it back in the future. Probably not. So... You know, I don't know if anybody have <clears throat> ever listened to Busted Open. It's on, I think, Satellite Radio. I don't know if it's on YouTube, but it's very, very good. Um, you know, let me know if you ever listened to Busted Open on the, in your car. I don't know if they have a YouTube channel or a podcast besides the radio version. Uh, if they do, probably got paid for it. You know, nothing's free in the world. So, what's your thoughts? You guys are. You guys miss it or don't miss it? And today on this day, Bret Hart beat Ric Flair for the WWE, so WWF Champion for the first time ever in his career. I don't know if you guys remember that match. I think, I don't know if it's on WWE Network. It should be. I think there was a house show or a live event. It's the same thing, but I don't know if it's televised ever. Let me know down below if you ever see Ric Flair for the Hart when Bret Hart beat Ric Flair for Ric Flair's belt back in the day. So what's your thoughts on this? Are you kind of just kind of bummed out? Not bummed out? You know, I don't give a darn if it's canceled or not canceled. The ratings were poorly anyway. I mean, it was okay when they had Punk on there. But when Punk was not there, the ratings was very low. That's just how I feel. And I thought... If this whole pandemic never happened, I thought that we was going to push the envelope with CM Punk versus Seth Rollins at WrestleMania 36 in Tampa Bay, but it never happened. They were just a tease, you know? So maybe it will happen in the future. I'd love to see Seth Rollins versus CM Punk because they both came from an independent scene environment. So I don't know if Punk will ever wrestle again. If the money's right, he will come out of retirement to wrestle. Everyone out there, have a good one. Enjoy your rest of your uh, Monday, and i see you guys next time. I know you say Punk will never wrestle again for WWE. Never say never. If the money is right, you will do it. Take care, everyone. Take care.